Hey guys, it's Sonia. Over the past few months, I've made about three decently sized orders from SimonSaysStamp.com. The majority of the items that I'm going to show you today are from Doodlebug Designs Collections. Uh, I've been a little bit obsessed with them lately, so I figured I'd show you all the items I ordered. Also, at the end I'll be unboxing the Christmas in July parcel that was released, so keep watching to see all the fun things that I bought. So the first set that I bought that got me a little bit obsessed with Doodlebug uh, was the So Punny collection. So I bought two of the paper packs. Originally I only got one, and then in another order I bought the second one because I thought they were so cute, the little images and the little sayings. that they I think they originally had it for Valentine's Day or something. But I thought it was great and really cute to make a bunch of cards. So I got two of these. And then along with that, I got the Chit Chat and Odds and Ends die cuts. I thought it would be a quick way to make really cute cards with these little designs. and So I wouldn't have to stamp everything for every card. And they would be perfectly color matching everything on the paper. And then I also decided to buy the two stamp sets. Uh, because I love them so much. I thought it was so cute and once the, the odds and ends are out I still wanted to be able to to make cards with these designs and these images and these sayings. So I got those along with the, with the die sets so that I could cut them out perfectly. And then I did decide to get some embellishments. So I got the shape sprinkles of tiny hearts and the glitter sprinkles. They're glitter enamel dots and I, thought, I think they're perfect because the colors are exactly the same as the ones in the set. So when you put the embellishments, it'll be like exactly perfect and it won't look like, oh, where did that color come from? So I thought that was great. And then I also picked up some of the Doodle Pops. So these are cardstock stickers. They're 3D, so you don't need to add all the layers when you're making your own. And I thought they'd be cute for a few specialty card uh, for a few specialty cards. Uh, these little images with the pop tart and everything—they're—they're—it's probably my favorite one. Honestly, I've never really put a pop tart in a toaster. I might be crazy because apparently everyone does it, but I think it's the cutest one for sure. Uh, so I, I think we can make a lot of cards like this, and it's not just like a little piece of card; it adds a little extra. So that's it for the So Punny collection. The next one I'm going to show you is Sweet Summer. So I bought these ones here. Uh, I got the 12 by 12 paper pack to begin with. So it comes with a bunch of plaid or gingham and polka dots in the perfect colors for summer. They're really bright and fun. And I thought I'd buy the 12 by 12 paper pack because it was it's enough to make multiple cards in the same print. So like the 6 by 6 paper pads, you have one paper of this one design. And I thought maybe with this simple design, I might want to make more with that one pattern, so I bought more of that. So then also to go with that, uh, for the sweet summer, I did buy the 6x6 paper pad that has the little drinks and the popsicles and the suns. Uh, I thought it would it'd be cute to go with the other paper pad that I bought. So I did also get the chit chat and odds and ends for this one. As I said earlier, it's a quick way to make a card and it matches perfectly. Really cute designs and sayings. I did also get some sprinkles, the summer assortment, uh, the enamel dots. I think they're really cute, obviously perfect color. And then I grabbed some more doodle pops. <laughs> These things are my favorite. Um, I really like the lemonade one. So it comes with a little ice cream truck. And these little drinks, a lemonade stand, a sun, and some little popsicles. I think they're going to be great to make some summer cards, or birthday cards in the summer, or some kind of party, or just saying hello. It'd be really nice. Okay, so then the next collection that I got from Buddha Bug Designs was uh, Cream and Sugar. So when I went to go get this one, they didn't have much left in stock. So I got the paper pad and the odds and ends and then I also got this one cardstock sticker doodle pop of the little donuts uh, I wish they had a little bit more when I did purchase it maybe I'll keep looking to see if they get more stuff in stock I think this will be enough to make a decent amount of cute cards with the with this collection so I'm gonna try it out 
So the next one that I got is the At The Zoo 6x6 paper pad. It's really cute. It's got the little pandas, all the little animals. I thought it'd be really good for maybe like a little boy's birthday or like a little kid, something like that. It'd be really nice. And then I got I got the odds and ends for this one as well. It, I did notice it does have some words, so it, it'd be cute to make it more adventure, as, as the word says. It'd be really nice. And then I got a little crazy with these little doodle pops, so I ordered every single one that they had in stock for this one. Um, so I got the little panda, the giraffes, the lion, the elephant, monkey, and the tiger. These ones are so cute, I can't even pick a favorite. Uh, they, they make a perfect card center. I, I probably wouldn't even put these ones together, maybe except for the giraffes, obviously, uh, because they're just such a centerpiece for a card, and they're so cute. Okay, so in the final, the final collection that I got from Doodlebug Designs was the Milk and Cookies. So I originally saw this one um, in December when it came out. I believe it was in some kind of pack. Uh, I really liked it, but I was kind of hesitant. So now that I've been buying more of their stuff, I decided to go back and buy some of it. So I did buy the 6x6 paper pack. It's got the little Santas and a bunch of different different designs there. I did also pick up the stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and the dies, so that way I can add little little people on there, little set scenes, settings, and stuff like that. And then I grabbed the two doodle pops that were available, which is this little Christmas cake and the Christmas tree. So because there wasn't that much when I in stock when I ordered this because it was like in the summer, uh, I did also pick up the essentials kit. So this right here comes with a few pieces of 12 by 12 paper. They're double sided. Uh, my favorite one, let me find it, it has these little, yeah, candy canes and it's pink. I thought that one would be really nice for like a girl, maybe, or even a boy, I don't know. And then I really like these lettered stickers that come with it because sometimes it's nice instead of like a die cut or like writing, it, it's nice to have the actual stickers of the letters and they're shaped in a triangle so it'd be like a cool little banner maybe or design. It did also come with some basic stickers for it um, that match the images in the paper set. It did also come with uh, a doodle pop of a little wreath. Thought it was cute. And then the sweet shop assortment. So it comes with little buttons, embellishments, ribbon. I thought that, that would go good. Maybe you could tie a little bow or something like that. That would be really nice. So, so that's it for my doodle book designs haul. Um, so the next thing I got, I thought I needed something for like ladies or some, something a little more elegant. So I got the Fashionista paper pad by Echo Park. So I got the paper pad and the stamps that go with it. I thought that it'd be really nice for like a teenager or a woman uh, or for a friend, anything like that. They're really nice. And then I did also pick up these two wooden stamps. Uh, by Tim Holtz. Uh, I thought they were really nice, really chic and classy, and then I noticed that this one had a little dog, and it reminded me of my dog Coco, so I thought, oh, well, that's really perfect for me, so I picked those two up as well. So the next few things that I got weren't really part of a collection. They were just kind of random pieces that I saw that, that I thought I needed. So the first thing from that is Perfect Pearls. I picked up Perfect Pearls because I saw a lot of people using it and I'm like you know what I should try using it it looks really nice so I grabbed some of that and then I also grabbed some Simon Says Stamp Rose Gold Embossing Powder because I had gold and I had silver uh, and I thought you know what sometimes you want that little rose gold touch because it's really in right now so I, I bought the rose gold embossing powder so next I bought these dies of stitched rectangles and stitched circles uh, I haven't had any up until now of any kind of s like shapes like this. Usually it's just to go with the stamps that I have. So I thought that this would this would be like a new addition. That way I can like cut out a square without using like a paper trimmer or a circle and have the little stitch detailing which adds a little extra to the card all the time. So the next thing I got was this plaid background stamp. I thought it was nice because it'd be good for fall or winter even. And I saw that they had these little lines as well. And so I noticed some people use them with like a gold. So it just added that little extra, but the whole background wasn't gold. So it just made it a little bit extra, but like it was nice. 
So then I also grabbed these sprinkles. I got the in the cupcake color and the swimming pool glitter. Um, I really like them because I tend to use these two colors a lot. Uh, I use a lot of pinks. And then I found that with the blues, every, every kind of embellishment that I got was more of like a different tone. And these ones are more of like a turquoise-y color. So I thought that these would be good for the turquoise cards that I make. And then I did grab, I think it's a set of 10, I might be wrong, it might be more than that, but uh, it's, I, think, I believe it's watercolor paper and it's got all these summery designs. So it'd be real, I thought it'd be really cool to try out making something with a card base that's already done for me. I've never done that. So I thought it'd be cool to like try to add something extra to this image that's already there and make it your own. So then the next thing I got, because I wanted something to be a little bit more classy for some of my cards rather than just cute. So I grabbed the, this stamp set. What's this one called? This one is Beautiful Flowers by Simon Says Stamp. So I thought it'd be cool to maybe heat emboss the outline of the flowers in either gold or even the rose gold that I got earlier at, to make it like a simple card. And it has some nice sentiments uh, saying like, you are a treasure to me. So I thought this would be nice for something classier. Okay, the next one that I got is actually probably my favorite one out of everything. Uh, it's from Jelly Bean Soup. It's called Laundry. So it's got this little dryer and what's really cool about it is that it comes with the die set and it's got the perfect size to cut out the little center. So you can put like a shaker card of like a load of laundry with like the little socks and the underwear and stuff. And it could like move around so it looks like it's actually being washed or dried. And I thought that that would be really cute for either like a mom or, or someone who's just starting to do their own laundry because they moved to college or something. And it comes with these cute little sentiments like sending loads of love and we'd make the perfect pair. So I, that one's definitely my favorite one. So then the next few things that I got, I actually got for free um, for multiple different reasons. So the first one here, it was from a Cinco de Mayo... Uh, coupon code. So it, it's like this little chihuahua guy uh, with tacos. So I thought it was really cute for something for Cinco de Mayo. It's, it was free so it was cute. And then the next thing I got, um, this one right here, it actually, they sent it to me because some of the items that I ordered uh, weren't in stock when they shipped me my package. So they sent me this one as like a little gift while I waited. So I thought it was cute. It's got, it kind of got the little so punny thing in there because it's like this koala flies as a hug and you're a top koala tea friend. So I thought that'd be really funny. And then I did also get this one. I think this one was just like coupon code for a surprise free gift. So it comes with these, um, these little durable paperboard surfaces. Uh, these little, these little words, they kind of feel like wood. Or maybe they just look like wood. But those are cool. So I thought that would be cool to like have a sentiment on a card, even on something really simple that could make it extra. And then I got these, it came with these fruit dies. So that'd be nice for something summery. And then it also came with these glow in the dark googly eyes. Um, Honestly, I when I first saw them, I'm like, what am I going to do with googly eyes? I always thought of that as like, oh, I used to use those as a kid. But then I looked at them and I was like, you know what, it'd be perfect for something Halloween or even some kind of animal because it'd be cool even for like a kid or something because when you turn the lights off and they glow in the dark, it would be like kind of creepy but like kind of cool at the same time. So I thought that that was cool and I think I could find a cool way to use that. So then... Now, I, the final thing that I have to show you is the Christmas in July parcel that Simon Says Stamp sent out. So what they did was they had this stamp set, st stamp set. Uh, I think it was $25 US dollars and it comes with these little elves and there's one with the reindeer, a gift, and some of them are making cookies and stuff and there's this really cute sentiment that I loved. It says, I made you cookies for Christmas but I ended up having to buy you a gift instead. The cookies were great though, or delicious though, sorry. So I, I thought it'd be really cute, even without the sentiment, to put the pictures of the elves with the cookies and like put it with like some cook homemade cookies that you that you prepared for them and in a, with the card it would look really great and it'd be really fun. So then with this, uh, there was like a surprise parcel with some other items. So the first thing that I got 
were these Tim Holtz Ideology uh, letter stickers. They're metallic. Uh, so they're black with a gold trim. Uh, as I said earlier, it's kind of cool to have the letters as stickers sometimes because usually we stamp the sentiments or we use the die cut. So I thought it, I thought it would be nice to do this. Even You could even put this as lettering on an envelope to kind of match things as well. So the next thing that they sent was this Mama Elephant. Uh, it was like a tag die. I thought it was really cute because I actually thought about buying this last year around Christmas time and then I hesitated as I did with the milk and cookies set. Um, so it's perfect because it comes with this die for a tag, a gift tag. So it would be perfect for Christmas but you could use it any, any time of the year honestly for any kind of gift. Um, so I think I'm probably going to definitely make my own tags this year. I didn't last year, I was going to and then I ran out of time. So now that I have this it's a lot quicker than using like a, like a machine. And then also, I really I saw a lot of people using this. I really like this. It's um, it's a little bow. So basically, this die will fold into a bow, and it just adds that perfect little touch or embellishment to something. And it's just the little detail adds so much to it. And it, it's also good for birthdays and stuff, not only Christmas, which I thought was great. So there's two more items. The first thing here is this. Express It Glitter Deco Tape. I thought it would be nice. It's gold uh, for like a, it would be good for a trim of a card maybe or an envelope even to close up an envelope. I didn't think about that. But yeah, I thought this one was really nice. It kind of it kind of goes with the letters as well. And then the very last thing that they sent was these little snowflake ornaments also by Tim Holtz Ideology. Uh, I thought they were really nice. They're kind of like a rustic silver. I don't know. Uh, I thought they'd be really nice on a card where you put, like, you can, like, use a string and, like, dangle them down, and then it kind of looks like they're hanging. Um, it would also be cool, like, I don't know, even, like, on some kind of jewelry, I think. Yeah, so you could use this for a lot of things, actually. So, yeah, that's all the things that I bought in this haul. Um, let me know if there is anything else you'd like to see me make a video for. Uh, if you liked this video, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any of the sets that I have here or any that you want me to get later that you'd like me to do some kind of um, tutorial video on how I made the cards. Uh, I could do some, I've seen a lot of people do like 10 cards, one collection. I could do something like that if you want. So just please let me know and thank you for watching.